everyone, you've made it to the end of unit two. It's week 10. The video this week is very brief because you should already know what you're doing. Essentially what you're doing is you are finishing your essay. So I'll give you the intro, some extra resources if you're feeling stuck in particular, and then we'll go over the essay just one more time just so you have a good idea of what to expect. Okay, so the main thing I'm doing this week is I'm providing you with a bunch of resources to help you throughout the process if you're feeling stuck. You've got to see this essay as your opportunity to demonstrate that you've been working on those writing skills that we've been practicing with the templates. You've been thinking critically about all the text that we've been talking about and you're ready to show all of your, your knowledge. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is make sure that you watch Little Women, which you've probably already done. Make sure you're composing a thesis statement. An answer in this thesis statement, we'll talk about this again when we look at the essay, what does the film argue about the nature of gender? Okay, that's what you are writing about. You're not giving me a movie review. You're not telling me what happened in the movie. You're not even talking about um, symbolism in the movie unless it contributes to the overall answer to the question, what does the film Little Women argue about the nature of gender? That's what you're trying to write about. Okay, so once you compose your topic or your thesis statements, from there, branch off into your topic sentences, those first sentences of your body paragraph, so you know precisely what it is that you're going to write about in that paragraph. Find the evidence that you need from your outside sources. Also find quotes that you want to use from the film and wind up embedding those into your writing. Make sure you give me a good analysis that tells me how these lines of evidence that you're using contribute to your overall thesis. Write your conclusion. Write your introduction. I always write my introduction last. I know that sounds wild, but it's the hardest thing to write. I've got a really great video that'll help you with it if you're feeling stuck there as well. Uh, revise, so read through it and see if you need to change things around, edit, and lastly, format. Okay? As always, feel free to contact me via Canvas or Google Hangout. I would be happy to hear from you. So these resources, you by no means are required to look at all of these, but if you're feeling stuck, these things are going to help. So thesis statements, topic sentences, how to embed quotations. So lots of times y'all will give me quotes that just start a sentence and innocent in the sentence. But what I would rather see with embedded quotations is you giving me some introductory information and context than embedding that quote into your own words. That's a really effective way and a really smart rhetorical way to write. Great video about how to write introductions conclusions, how to revise, how to edit, how to format, which is super, super easy in this day and age. Um, and then this is a graphic organizer called the Outline and Guide to Composing an Essay. And essentially what it's going to do, it's going to take all the elements of an essay and kind of give you a way of looking at it before you put it all in an essay. So if you feel like your essay is unorganized, or even if I've given you comments that say your essay needs some more organization, I would highly, highly encourage you to use this graphic organizer before you wind up putting all of your essay into its final document. Uh, and really, if you just feel kind of lost, you're thinking, I don't know what to write about, or I don't know what to write next, or if you have that sense to where you're like, I'm just trying to get to the word count, then I would use that as well. Okay, so, and let's look over this one more time. This is, um, this is the directions for the essay, as well as the rubric it's down here. And this is where you'll actually submit the essay as well. Okay? So, watch Little Women, which you've done by now. Think, what argument is the director, Greta Gerwig, making through the film? What, she, what, what argument is she making? Then think, what's your response to that argument? Do you agree, disagree, would you qualify it, meaning that you would amend a couple things here and there? And why do you think this way? And then I want you to think about your own personal context. What in your own identity, your own story has led you to believe that particular thing, okay? All right, now here we go. Right, after exploring all the assigned resources for the unit, for the whole unit, compose a thesis statement that answers the following prompt. What does Greta Gerwig's Little Women argue about the nature of gender, okay? That is the essay, answering that question. Nothing else, nothing else. That is the essay. Think of it as a filter, right? So anything you drop through that filter, if it's not, if it's not answering that question, it's going to get filtered out. So you might have the best writing in the world that can be published in every single journalistic outlet ever known to humanity because it's so good. But if it doesn't work toward answering that question, it's fluff. I don't want it. Get rid of it. Answer that question. 
That's what I'm looking for. Answer that question, okay? You'll do it in 1,500 to 2,000 words. Please make sure that your INET word count, a lot of you um, submitted stuff that was like 700 words or, um, or stuff that was 5,000 words. Try to get it within that window, right? And so a lot of you email me and you say, is it okay if I run over? And here's the thing, um, believe it or not, essays that go over are often essays that have a lot of cleaning up to do. You can answer this question in 2,000 words. You can do it, you can do it. If you have more than 2,000 words, it's a good sign because it means that you've probably answered the question well, but it also means you probably have some fluff here and there. So work to edit those sentences, even sometimes maybe those paragraphs out, okay? Um, and if you're writing 750 words, you can say way more. You can say way more, right? There's all sorts of examples that you can use from the film. You can pull in words and quotes from outside reviews and articles. There's all sorts of things you can write about here. So make sure you're getting within that window, okay? Use quotes from the film, specific references to scenes, and an analysis that connects the examples to your overall argument, okay? Make sure you're doing that. Respond to the ideas and arguments of the text with your own ideas. Do you agree or disagree? Why or why not? It may help to make this the conclusion of your essay. So the introductory, introductory paragraph, obviously, is your introduction that gets the reader's attention. It's uh, followed by your thesis statement. Your body paragraphs are unpacking the argument that Greta Gerwig is making throughout the film. And then your conclusion is your response, right? So if you disagree and think that it's awful, or if you agree and think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, this is your time to tell me why. And once again, doing it in a specific way, using concrete examples. The best thing you can do is give me an image in my mind of what you're talking about, whether it's a scene, um, a historical event, a personal anecdote. If I can envision it in my mind, that means that you're being specific and concrete, which is better writing. You want to try to stay away from things like abstractions. Something like, I agree with Greta Gerwig's stance because of my own personal experience with misogyny and sexism. Okay, great. Um, but it's not very specific. It's pretty boring. I'm not saying that you have to give me a really personal, specific anecdote. You don't have to use an anecdote if you don't feel comfortable doing it. But give me something specific. What in your knowledge can ground your ideas with something that I can see in my mind's eye, okay? That's what I'm looking for. All right, use at least three quotes from the text. It says chosen text, but you're using Little Women. So make sure that you're jotting down quotes that you wanna use. It's pretty easy to find a transcript, just Google it. Use quotes from at least three outside sources to support your argument that you have gathered from the TCC databases. And along with those, I'm, I'm fine if you wanna use reputable news sources for movie reviews. So things that you recognize, like a, NPR or uh, New York Times or Vox, things like that that have written critically about the film. And you're gonna find those things within the databases as well. So if you're still confused on how to use the, the databases, make sure you go to the resources module and there's a video there that explains how to use the databases. So make sure that you use that if you're feeling stuck, okay? And just as, as a tip for research there, it may help to look for biographical information on Greta Gerwig evaluations or reviews of the film, or you can just talk about or search for things for feminism in general and how this movie winds up kind of playing into the ideas of feminism. Okay, make sure your paper is in MLA format with correct in-text citations and a proper works cited page, which means that you're gonna cite the film as well as three outside sources. So you're gonna have at least four things in your MLA works cited page. Uh, there's the rubric for you to see at your own perusal. Uh, use all the resources that you've got. Go to the Academic Learning Center, submit your paper to the Academic Learning Center. You can find all that information in the modules, or I'm sorry, in the resources module. Uh, message me if you need help, if you're feeling stuck, ask a friend, ask uh, a loved one, whatever it may be, and make sure that you submit your essay here before 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, or the end of the module, depending on when you're taking the class. Okay, goodbye.